Welcome back, everyone. It's your man, Matty Ice, with a brand, with brand new video. So I'm going to be doing a series of videos since it's October, which I probably should have done this earlier. Except, like, on the day I'm recording this, it's the 17th. So I probably should have started this a lot sooner. But I've just been lazy, and I just haven't recorded it. <laughs> but pretty much like that, the series I'm going to be doing is, like, I'm going to be doing, uh, saying my favorite, like, horror-related stuff in different mediums. But, but that, but, uh, this is going to be my first video, which, uh, this one's going to be a uh, manga. It's my favorite horror manga. It's probably not going to be 10, but I'm just going to name off a few of my ho favorite horror manga. Because it's kind of hard to name 10. I mean, without like kind of dipping into the same people. <laughs> if that makes sense. But because that, there was like a couple people I could just name like a bunch of stuff all over by them. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> but uh, here it goes. So I'm just going to get the obvious one out of the way. And that's... This is pretty much anything by Junji Ito. So, see, I love him. Like, he's really, I, again, like, he's famous just for his horror stuff. And, uh, you can really pick any of them, I feel like, and enjoy it, especially if you love horror. And, so, see, a lot of people talk about, like, Uzumaki, that's probably, like, his most well-known one. But, I, but, I, but, I do suggest it, but, but, actually, I'm gonna suggest a different one that he did. And, and this one came over here... A year or two ago, like it's relatively new to America, because that like the past couple, like two or three years, he's been not not they've been putting out more and more Junji Ito stuff over here. But like in Japan, there's a like a sit on. But uh, but so the one that I wanted to recommend was the Tsarvan Classroom. Now that so this is a very it's it, it's a very short book, so it's pretty much just a bunch of short stories that he did, which that most of his books are short stories. So there's a couple that like are a little bit longer. Like Uzumaki, that's a little bit longer. Like you could buy that in like the three and one whatever. But so it's a starving classroom. And that's it's a bunch of short stories put together, but it kind of follows like this brother and sister, and all the stuff that they kind of do. So the sister's a psychopath, and that you find out that the brother's also kind of a psychopath. But but like, it definitely is more of like a short story type of thing. But with a, but with a more like overarching part to it, but that's a very good one. And so check out the Sovereign Classroom. It's a very just good. It's a, it's a very quick read. I feel like. And then that this is another kind of obvious one because I've talked about it on my channel a lot. I feel like. And that's Berserk. It's dark fantasy. So it's how we. I mean, like Atari, like I, I, like it, like a dark fantasy and horror kind of go hand in hand. But it's a little, it's a little bit of a long read. But if you love just really good art and a fantastic story, I would say check out Basuk. And you could buy a few different versions of it. Like, you could buy, like, the Deluxe Hardcovers, which I love those Deluxe Hardcovers. But, but those are a little bit more expensive at $50. But you can buy a little bit cheaper depending on where you go. But, and then, but then they also have, like, all the individual volumes, too. Which, right now, there's 41, because that, uh... If you guys don't know that Kintoni Miura, he died a couple years ago, but now his assistants are continuing that series. So I'm happy as long as his, you know, so as long as his family gave praise for it, I'm happy, you know, like, kind of say, like, yeah, like, you can do it then. But, like, I'm happy it came back. But, and then next up on my list is Die Dark. Now, uh, this is kind of like a horror comedy. Again, this one's not straight up horror. Seriously, like, it's got horror elements of, like, the designs of the characters and stuff. But, like, it but like it definitely does have, it like, a comedy action that, like, aspect to it. That, like, I think that, like... So the story, I think, is very comedy action heavy. But, like, the designs of them are very horror related. And that this is a, by Q Hisada, who also did Dori Hidoro. Which is also, that's another good series. So check out Dori Hidoro also. But... And what Die Dark is not a long read right now. There's only, I think, five volumes out right now, if I remember correctly off the top of my head. With the sixth one coming out in December. But it's a fantastic read, especially if you love Dory Hidoro, or like if you just love like a horror comedy type of thing. So I would definitely check that one out. Next up is The Drifting Classroom. Uh, so this is like an old like 60s to 70s like horror series. And it's actually the same person who wrote uh, Devil Man. So, once again, that, like, that's another great horror one. But today, 
it's gonna focus on drifting classroom. So it's pretty much like a weird horror sci-fi mix. So it's like like almost like die dark with that like weird horror sci-fi part. But this one's like the school disappears and like it travels to the future pretty much like this weird like a land. And that like these kids have to survive pretty much and like that they're not like teenagers. Like that they're like little kids like fifth graders and stuff and like below kindergartens and stuff. It it's a pretty messed up series. <laughs> but it's really good though. It's just a fantastic series if you haven't read it. And it's an older one, so like that like the art what's personally I love that retro art to it, because it like it it still has that retro art feel to it, and it's great. And like you could buy those in like the hardcovers. Like that's the only ones I've seen is the hardcover versions of Drift for Classroom. And then uh, my last one I'm going to do for the day is Doubt. Now, this is... Now, that there's been a few different spinoffs or sequels to this, but I'm, but I'm talking about the original Doubt. And that this is, like, about these kids that like to play this game. I, which now I'm drawing the break of the game. But, like, it's all... But it's very similar to, like, a Monos, almost. Which, which I'm pretty sure this was written before Monos or, like, around the same time. But pretty much that they get together and finally meet for the first time. And that they all get kidnapped <laughs> by someone. And now they have to play this game for real. And like find out who the actual killer is. And it, 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 it's such a good series. Because it's like that. It, it, uh, like it's just a very suspenseful series. And like the art I think is really good too. If you like good art. Uh, again it's a quicker series. That there's two volumes out of it. But, but they're thick if I'm but it's not super thick. It's still a quick read. And, like, if you love kind of, like, that weird horror game stuff, like Saw, or, like, a mo yeah, it's a very good one. Um, I get, so if you might have, like, Dead by Daylight, or, like, uh, the Evil Dead game, or the Friday the 13th game, if you ever played any of those two, that was, like, oh, oh, so, that's probably more accurate. <laughs> that's sort of accurate, but, yeah. So that's my uh, favorite horror mangas. And uh, I will be doing my, uh, my favorite horror comics and also, like, favorite horror movies. So look out for those, too. Where it's, yeah, just, just keep an eye out. So peace out to next time. Was your boy, Matty?